worksheet on reading a metric ruler. These little units of measure are millimeters or tenths of centimeters. So these big numbers here mark the centimeters. So this segment right here is definitely longer than 54 centimeters. How much longer? Well, it looks like it's one little millimeter longer or one-tenth of a centimeter longer. So the way you write that is 54.1 centimeters. Now, the directions up here say how many millimeters? Well, it would be 541 millimeters is what it would be. If you read it as 54.1 centimeters, that's acceptable also. Okay, so the metric ruler is always easier to use because it's in base 10. So if it's bigger than 38, it's 38 point something, and this is going to be in centimeters again. How many little lines passed? Three little jumps or spaces to get to the end of that segment. So we would call it 38.3 centimeters. Okay, we'll do one more. This next one is almost 39, so it's less than 39. So again, it's going to be 38 point something. Now, we know there's 10 little spaces in between the 38 and the 39, so if you want to, you can count backwards from 39. This would be um, one little space away from being 39 full centimeters. So 38.9 is what you could have. You could count the nine little spaces or just count backwards one. Okay, so you can finish the rest of this. It's pretty simple. Metric system's pretty easy. The more complicated side of the ruler is the inches side. There are 16 little spaces in between each inch mark. So you're counting by sixteenths, not by tenths. So you're writing your answers as fractions, not decimals. So again, you can work backwards here. 16 sixteenths is what one inch is. If you go back one sixteenth, you're at 15 sixteenths. This next one is definitely bigger than four inches. How many little lines passed? Well, you could count the spaces. It's four little spaces, which would be four sixteenths. But that reduces. Four sixteenths reduces to one fourth. So this would be the one half mark. This would be the one fourth mark. This would be the three fourths mark. Okay, so if it was like money, this would be. 25, 50, 75 as a decimal. 0.25 as a decimal is one quarter. One quarter, 25 cents, like in money. This next one is bigger than two. It's not quite three. I know that halfway through would be eight sixteenths, so I can just count on from there. Nine sixteenths, ten sixteenths, eleven sixteenths. Next one's pretty easy when it falls on a whole number. This one's definitely bigger than three inches. Again, if you count onward from eight sixteenths, that's the halfway point. I know that's 12 sixteenths, that's three fourths. 13, 14 sixteenths. Okay, now both of those are even numbers. So you can reduce that fraction. You could also count backwards two little spaces. Two little spaces is two sixteenths. And I think you know that two sixteenths is the same as one eighth. You could just count back one eighth. That's why you have seven eighths and not eight eighths. Okay, next one. Five and 
Remember, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Next one, bigger than two inches. It's almost two and a half inches. It's one little sixteenth away from being two and a half. So again, half is eight sixteenths. So if you're a sixteenth off, it'd be two and seven sixteenths. Last one, it'll be five and seven eighths inches. Hopefully we're catching on to this at this point. It's two little spaces away from being five and eight eighths, or I'm sorry, five. Yeah, five and eight eighths. So if you go back two spaces, that's one eighth. Or if you go back two spaces thinking of as sixteenths, you're going from 16 sixteenths back to 14 sixteenths. 14 sixteenths is seven eighths. So this little piece right there is an eighth. That's what those two little spaces, those sixteenths added together would be.